Good Here we are. morning. Good morning. It's nice to see you. Happy Monday morning. Happy Monday morning. It's, you know, it's, it's early. It's early, but I'm ready. It's beautiful early, but I'm outside. Ready. There's totally a cool crisp ready. in the air. Tell me about your weekend. Well, I got to do some uh, photography at my new listing, or my coming soon listing. Uh -huh. We're gonna do, we did some uh, pots of the neighborhood, which is Old Town Lincoln Park neighborhood, the greater Old Town, as I like to refer to it. We'll talk more about that later. Um, but uh, it's, God, it could not be a prettier time of year to have something, go, to have a listing go live, I mean, as green and beautiful as every neighborhood is right now. How about yours? What would you, what did you do this weekend? Well, I had kind of a funny weekend, I have to tell you. Oh. Um, you obviously were not watching my virtual open house live because you missed the faux pas of the century. Tell me. Okay. So I've got the video camera and I'm going like this on the Facebook live. And okay. And this is the front door. This is where you come into the unit. And let me show you these beautiful hallways. Door clicks. I'm locked out. The key Story of, oh my God. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> so I'm very calm. I'm very calm. I go, okay. So seems we're locked out. I'm going to show you the beautiful yep. hallways and the elevator bank. <laughs> I calmly walk down the hallway and I show the elevator bank and I say, well, since we can't get in and do a second door, I'm going to sign up for now until I can get back in. Click. <laughs> Okay, so now you've told me, because we have to learn something from everybody else's yikes, um, keep an extra key in your pocket. Number one. <laughs> and number two, Unlock all the doors. little buttons in the door. Yeah. Turn them when you come in. Unbelievable. Yeah. So anyhow, all's well that ends well. I was able to get the building key and get back in. And then I actually did a quick shot live back in the unit. <laughs> yeah, here I am. Here I am. Nothing happened. Ta -da! Here. <laughs> so that was that. So that was my funny moment. Um, and I have to say I was a little disappointed this weekend because I thought I was getting an offer on the 310 Michigan. That's my two bedroom for 45 overlooking Grant Park. I love that. Unit. So this wonderful woman came relocating from LA, not my buyer. She was going to buy. The doorman was even doing a song and dance about how great the building was. It was this magical moment. She was ready to move in. And then she balked on the assessments. So this gets to something we agents come up against all the time. When you advertise your, well, first of all, when you advertise your assessments, if you're going to advertise the parking, you need to include it in your assessments, right? Which is what I did. We're listed for 485 with parking. The assessments in total are 1143 per month for a two bedroom. That's not bad at all where you are located, holy moly. Including parking, including yeah. heat, including air with a $30 yeah. a month electric bill, including oh uh, 200 channels of cable and Wi Fi. So that's almost I, nothing. And staff, that's the difference. Oh yeah, full staff. You know, a lot of, but don't you have a lot of buyers now that say, oh, I don't wanna pay a lot of assessments. But then it comes out in the wash. They either get a special assessment or their packages are just thrown into the lobby with nobody helping them to get them. Especially with COVID, we've got packages flying every which way. Well, it's packages, but it's also with, you know, I'll use my COVID because I live in a full service building too. Um, something breaks right uh, uh something you know so for example i was hearing this beep um you know one of the annoying um the batteries run out of a fire alarm beep right and right. i told the building they of course thought it was my unit but i actually can reach my fire alarm and change my own battery but um it was down the hall it was one of the hall fire they take care of it it's just i call yeah. taking care of right 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 and it's and so it's, on your hvac yeah all that stuff and if something actually broke, it would be important. I mean, it's just little things where you don't have to think about it. Um, and it really does come out in the wash. If, it, if, you know, if you live in a building that has very, very low assessments, you're paying for other stuff yourself. 
exactly um, and inconvenience yourself right right like i can have a i can have even one of my um uh, contractors come in but the building will let them in if i ask them to do it yeah. i don't have to be there at home you are your own general contractor you are right well and it's also kind of a risk management situation yeah. in that when you're at home when your roof goes boy you got to just do it with them they plan they do an engineering study they know they have to replace things on an ongoing basis it's just you share the cost right exactly yeah. right so anyway then i had one more thing happen this weekend i sold a condo yay this one was at sandberg village and you know i hadn't shown in sandberg for a while and so it was just kind of brought back good memories for those of you who may not know sandberg village is that group of condominiums and townhouses between division 1200 north and north avenue 1600 north between clark and lasalle and kyle having grown up in the city around there you know the history but you know that was flop houses in the 60s when that was put up and you know with 2600 units it was kind of a gamble for the city but uh it was the beginning of urban renewal and the gold coast and a lot of things happened in the 60s after sandberg went up and it just reminded me that um, it was done by Solomon Cordwell Benz and oh, really? and John Cordwell. And I don't know if you ever met John Cordwell. But I did. I went to school with the, his kids. Oh, yeah. So I met him and Colin at the Red Lion, the famous pub on Lincoln Avenue, almost across from the Biograph where John Dillinger was shot. You know, talk about local history. And, you know, that's where I really learned to love Irish stew and... Um, Oh, yeah, they just served the old goodies there. But um, John would talk about how he was an RAF pilot shot down. He was a prisoner of war and made the big escape or tried to make the big escape. But anyway, that's the little Chicago history in Sandburg Village. This was a gorgeous one bedroom on the 26th floor overlooking the city. So it had a lake, Lincoln Park view. Kitchen was redone. Um, Bath bathroom was impeccable bamboo floors everything was gorgeous corner unit with the balcony for three hundred thousand dollars it was so so charming but in the meantime there were two other units that were really good if you have buyers one was we looked at kilmer house 1555 sandberg and that's the low-rise brown one on clark across from potash and it was a back one bedroom so it had a ground floor patio that was like 25 feet wide by 18 feet wide. The thing was enormous patio with six foot brick wall all around, built in planters. Okay, so huge seating. And that thing was listed for 310, but it's an estate sale. It didn't show very well. So, you know, but that is a great, I mean, patio space like that in the Gold Coast, amazing. And patio space like that for a one bedroom in the Gold Coast. Yes, I holy, know, right? Holy. So that's a good buy. Somebody needs to jump on it. It's been on the market for a while. And then there was a two bedroom listed at 1360 we went into that showed nah, not so good, but it was in that same price range, like 325 for a two bedroom in Sandburg. Oh, come on, people. You're yep. in the heart of everything right there. It's such a great opportunity. I've had friends who grew up there. I mean, that's a place you can raise a family in some of these two, and there's some three bedrooms in, in some mm -hmm. of the, in the townhouses. Townhouses um, are really great. Raise a family, and it's, they're, and people live there for decades because they're convenient, comfortable, good staff. There's a ton of amenities. They've got pools, tennis courts, if you join the association uh, amenities. It's, it's really a great place. It is. Yeah. Absolutely. So, Excellent. Well so done. So that was my weekend. Yeah. Anything I went to, uh, one more thing. I went to Michigan mm. yesterday with um, clients who are looking at getting a second home in Michigan. And so I... When is their advisor? I don't have a license in Michigan, but we can help people really anywhere. And I connected them with a broker nice. uh, in Michigan. Yeah. So it's, Where, it was really good. Are they in the New Buffalo area? Or? In the Harbor Country area. Yeah. 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 Terrific. Yeah. There so, are a lot of great places over there. That's a good, good second home location. Sure is. Yeah. And so close to Chicago. Okay. So what have you got today for us? Well, you want to look at the hot sheet first? I've got my but, hot sheet. Yes. Okay. Hold on. Share screen. Desktop. Oh, we put that down. And pull up. 
Oops. There we go. There we go. All right. So we're looking today again at the loop hot sheet and it's been a busy week. There were 10 properties that went under contract in the last seven days. That's, that's really good. Yeah. And look at all the new that are coming on. We're working, we're working to uh, change our inventory. Look, we've got 23 new listings that came up. Mm -hmm. A few price changes, canceled as always to relist. And then um, <clears throat> it's a good time to mention that we categorize pending different than contingent. Contingents will show up in the IDX feed. So, so if a property is under contract within the first week, you'll still see it as active. So it's a big frustration for some buyers that they see a property and they call me and they say, oh, what about this property? And I say, well, it's under contract because it's that first seven days. After the seven days and the attorney signs off and the buyer signs off in the inspection, it, they'll mark it pending, which is what we see here. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, then it drops off the IDX feed and then the buyers won't see it. So um, wait, 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 Anne, <coughs> but for some people who have a mortgage contingency, doesn't it wait until there's a clear to close or the first, the mortgage contingency expires? It depends. Some people will mark them as a financial contingency. Some people will just say they're pending. Okay. Because so I, I tend personally to leave mine as contingent until the, um, until the mortgage contingency goes away. So then you will, so then people will see your listings and think and they're, see that they're contingent they're until, <laughs> until all the contingencies go. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Um, so what I did was I pulled off some interesting listings to show you here. Um, <clears throat> so in the loop neighborhood, we have Lakeshore East as well as the Cultural Mile. A lot of people will drive by these and say, what is that? Well, these are these funky newer townhouse slash condos at Lakeshore East. And this one just uh, came on the market. It's uh, listed for $2 million three. And let me pull my mouse up here. Listed for two million three, and it's thirty nine hundred square feet. I'll show you a couple pictures here. This is slow. I need a better way to do it. Come on, baby. There. Ooh. They're really nice units. The only problem with them is they're a little limited in the amount of light they have. This one has a roof deck. So that's a new listing. Then the other one is 330 South Michigan, just went under contract. Uh, so this is just south of my building. And so you're uh, right at Van Buren and Michigan Avenue at this point. And this was a two bedroom for 395. They reduced it from 435, look at that. But um, nice unit. I mean, gives you good light, nice Ooh, view. skylights? It looks like it, doesn't it? I would have to go back and look and I see. I think that's a skylight. Yeah, I think they said it was a top floor unit. Okay, yeah. and then the Legacy. You know, again, the Legacy is a great building in the loop. Uh, it's the tall glass tower, and they kept the facade on Wabash, but the entrance is actually on Monroe, and thus it has the address of 60 Monroe. It connects to the University Club, and it's a really popular building, 355 units built in 2009. And this just closed for a million three five zero, and it is a rare unit because they don't usually have these tall ceilings like this. But I thought this was fun to point out. Um, that is stunning, isn't that stunning? It's like you're hovering over the lake. It's beautiful. Yeah, look at that. Full amenity building. They've got indoor pool, fabulous workout room. As I said, the Connect to the University Club, isn't that stunning? The den overlooking the harbor there. Mm. I just thought that was really fun. So that's my hot sheet for you. I'm going to stop sharing and come back. Your turn. Well, I thought today um, would be a fun day to take a look at um, the Old Town Triangle. So I mentioned earlier that there was the Old Town, that my new listing is in Old Town Lincoln Park. Right. Um, people have expanded the Old Town brand to include 
areas south of North Avenue and north of um, and north of Wisconsin, and and they've really tried to make it because it's such a great brand. Mm -hmm. um, but really, the tr Old Town used to be just the Triangle, which is let me describe it. It is if you start west at at the southwest at um, North and Larrabee go east on North Avenue to Wells, north on Wells to pretty much, but not entirely, um, Armitage. Mm -hmm. And then the hypotenuse of the triangle- Well, is, look out. I know. <laughs> the hypotenuse of the triangle is what? Is what Monday used morning. to be Ogden Avenue, which during, and you mentioned this earlier, during the late 60s with urban renewal, they they cut off Ogden at Chicago, uh, just a little bit um, north of Chicago Avenue, and fill and sold off all that land of those roads to developers, and they were filled in. But you can still sort of see from the development line where those properties come through, especially at the um, east side of it. You can see where you know Renali's Pizza yeah. um, is right on that high pot hypotenuse going um, right to Lincoln Park. So that is the triangle, the Old Town Triangle. And this weekend would have been, I'm about to share my screen, so hold on, I'm gonna be dangerous, hold on. Uh, there we go. Um, okay, now, hi, there's my, there we go. Oh, so God. pictures from the Old <laughs> Town Triangle Art Fair every year um, in a- I missed it this year. Yeah, you know, I, my husband and I were on the board at uh, Menominee Club for Boys and Girls. And so we worked the gate at Old Town sure did. for years. And uh, oh, one of my favorite events of the year. For it's sure. always the second Saturday and Sunday of June. And either it's broiling hot, freezing cold, rainy, yeah. whatever. <laughs> but it is always a party. Oh, I and love these pictures. Thanks aren't these pictures yeah, great? great? Yeah. There's food, there's music. Um, so many of our clients have art in their homes that they bought at this fair. Absolutely. And this person right here is the person who's in charge of throwing it, my sister. And this year she spent a lot of time, unfortunately, having to um, organize the letting go of the art fair, of unraveling all the planning that the artists and the, and the community had done to set it up. And um, I was trying to see if I could get a picture of the Menominee Club, as you mentioned it. It's right next door to this building, which is the Old yeah. Town Association. Yeah. But um, really a great time by all and the whole city. So anyway, very, and there's my sister again, very just sad to, to let it go this year. But anyway, the reason why we're telling you about Old Town is a, it's a, it's a great place to live. Um, my uh, sister and I, uh, my family grew up in Old Town. We moved in right in the early 70s, right after urban renewal had started. And it was a, it was a very uh, different place. It was very working class, very, um, very old, not well-maintained buildings. And then people started to move in and invest. And, um, and the, the great stuff became even better. And the new stuff, um, and, a lot, and a lot of new stuff came into being. Ours was a new house, but some people took older buildings, like some of these wonderful coach houses, these um, muse houses, and turned them in and remodeled them and turned them into single family homes. And it's really a great neighborhood, but it's not just fancy houses. One of the great things about Old Town is there are renters, um, there are condos, and there are single family homes. So I, I'm taking you to the sheet, a search that I did of what's available right now in the Old Town Triangle. So here you see there, um, there are 34 properties, one of which is a multi-unit um, on Sedgwick, um, but it's it's not uh, it's only two units, and so this, these people are um, suggesting that you could um, either turn this into a single family home or keep it as an investment property, um, or even have you live in one um, and rent out the other. 
but it's a it's a home on Sedgwick, um, just near Eugenie, um, across from Twin Anchors. A very you know, fun pop. Twin right. Anchors. And have, did you ever see the movie Return to Me? Was that with Minnie Driver? Yes, filmed it with Anchors. So okay, so all of you who love Chicago movies and love old movies, Minnie Driver, David Duchovny. That He's an architect working at the Lincoln Park Zoo, so there's a lot of good zoo shots and twin anchors. It was just a charming movie, and I could just watch it over and over again. Wait, wait, wait an architect working at the zoo? Yeah, they were like redoing the ape okay. house or something okay. in this, whatever. <laughs> All righty. So that's a, that's a multi-unit. Um, but there are also, so for example, there are five single family homes for sale, and um, they range in price from eight fifty. Uh, eight fifty for a single family home. I know. I thought this would go really fast, uh, oh. because also it's in the Lincoln School District, everybody, which for a lot of people um, is uh, it's one of the very strong school districts in the city of Chicago. One of many strong, but this one's strong too. But it's a Thank cute you. house, and here's the thing: it has parking. Oh wow! Three of the five houses. In, in Old Town do not have parking. They have street parking or you can rent parking nearby. But this cute house at 850 has outdoor space. Um, oh, that's fun. Yeah. So just, just sort of darling. You could, you could easily raise a family and, um, and, uh, and send your kids to good schools in, um, wow. in, in Lincoln Park. So there's oh, that one. Good. And then the the most expensive to go to of the of the houses also has parking, and it's on Concord, which is Concord um, Place, which is uh, one block north of North Avenue, on a really cute street that doesn't get a lot of traffic, which is nice. Yeah, it is a nice quiet street. That is a charming. Isn't house. that charming? And it yeah. has a two car garage in the back. Most, I mean, two car garage. There are only a few houses that have two car garages, um, but really very charming. Oh, wow. One point. This is one just under one point eight million um, for all this newly redone space. Looks pretty Beautiful. good. Yeah, um, it is. right in the heart of things. Three bedroom or four? Let's see. Uh, it says it's four oh, bedrooms. Four, and four, four bedroom, four and a half bath. Okay, yeah. And two car garage with outdoor space. It's a deck on top of the garage. How and that's nice also that? in Lincoln School District. In, they're all in Lincoln Park. All of these oh. are um, Lincoln uh, School District. And then if you get into uh, LaSalle, it's right around the corner too, so. Exactly. Wow. And um, you are two blocks away from the Brown Line that zips you into mm -hmm. the loop or takes you to Wrigley Field. I mean, just as nice as can be. And that Sedgwick bus is a cute, that's a good little honey yeah. bus. That is, but I, I, I love a bus, but yes. Yeah, okay. So one. then, but the, and then there are um, 28, I think. Yeah, 28 condos um, for sale. And so just to give Tell you a- the Crilly Court. You, you see the 1709? Oh, I love the Crilly Court one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that has no parking. It's beautiful. Where yeah. are you? Here we go. Well, there's one at Crilly, yeah. Oh, it's gorgeous. And what's, but they don't, sh I don't think they show this well enough, is the, is this common sort of alley that, that, um, yeah. that is fenced off that you can have parties in and it's sort of a shared alley. It's really very charming. So let's just see if they show that. See, it's off this deck. You can see the back of, of a yeah. condo building across the way that's, I mean, look at, oh, I'm moving in. That's there really we go. Cute. We do. You see there, this is all the outdoor space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's beautiful. Anywho, um, now going to the, um, going to what you can get for condos. So, so there are a whole bunch of, um, of inexpensive. So here is Americana um, Towers. Americana Towers. And <laughs> It's, uh, this is, I think, um, yeah, this is, this is the least expensive you'll pay, but, but it's an entry level. It looks like it's a studio. Um, but 174 price point on the 25th floor. Too bad it was a cloudy day and there aren't good pictures because. 
probably done by some yeah somebody a tenant recently moved out okay there you go that's maybe why it yeah. so it's a good investment property yeah all sorts of assessments stuff. 415 yeah yeah taxes that's 3000 and yeah and don't include include homeowners that's a nice in town apartment yeah easy Starter, first and right yeah, in the middle of everything yeah and they've got a view um over all the rooftops because it's one of the few high rises in the area so you've yeah. got a nice view too okay so and have you heard anything about what's going into the treasure island space there i've heard a bunch of things they sold it for 11 million but i don't i'm not entirely yeah. certain i mean I there have been anything. rumors but i don't think that anyone's really made an announcement now one of the th interesting things for um just the triangle is look at how much the most expensive condo is um there it's 859.9 that's not a, that's not bad and this no. this is actually an apartment that i thought was interesting i oh, um, at the st time michael's I just, yeah at the time i was showing it or wanting to show it to um a client a long time tenant was moving out of it this was a developer's unit um and it and they had not kept it in great shape and so it was it was not really showable but now they've emptied it out. So this is, this is, and this, one of the great things about this kind of is there's lots of parking available for this. But look at this. Yeah, it's fun. Big, open, um, unique kind of space. You can really do whatever you want and make it your own. It's, it's gonna require some investment because it's been lived in for 20 plus years by a tenant. What's the price on this again? This is 859, and this is the asking price, 859.9. Okay. Yeah. Very doable. Tons of space. Not cookie cutter. And that's what I like about those. Yes. And you're right in the heart of it. You're right yeah, by St. Michael's, Michael's Church. Yeah. And during Old Town Weekend, there are part, there are bands that play nearby. Yeah. I mean, that's, it's, it's just fun. as fun and charming as you could ever imagine. So that's what you get today in the Old Town Triangle. Oh, that's a great tour. Thank you. Yeah. What else have we got? Well, you know what? We're at the half hour mark. I don't know if we want to jump into any more or not. It's up to you. No, we no, no. Well, let's, let's save some for next week. Yeah, let's do that. Um, just quickly to sum up, the market is picking up. You've been busy. I've been busy. Showings are kicking in. It's been a really great week. Uh, still low inventory on the, based on price points. Um, I was doing a search yesterday on InfoSparks and, you know, inventory ranges in our marketplace from four months for properties under 500,000 up to 16 months for the 1.5 and up. So we have lots and lots of luxury in part due to new construction, but uh, first time buyers, it's, you know, we need listings <laughs> for these buyers who are looking like my buyer this weekend, who was a first time buyer. So, um, you know, all signs point, according to Steve Harney and his group at Keeping Current Matters, to a V-shaped recovery fueled by the housing market. So I'm very optimistic. How about you? Absolutely. And listen, if anybody who's watching this has questions, please send us comments or uh, in our um, Facebook page and we will. Um, yeah, or if you have any that interest you want us to check out next week. morning 6 30 a.m on facebook live thanks bye